Yo, what's going on, night family? Welcome back to another video, guys, and welcome back to another vlog, man. This vlog might be boring, might be lame, I don't know. Sunday morning, it's around freaking 11 o'clock on the dot, drop top, Chevy Caprice. I'm over here eating some leftovers um, from Qdoba, playing some COD with the squad, and stuff like that. So, hey, today might be boring, I don't know. Talk to you guys about a lot of things, talk to you guys about my experience in Kentucky, and I'm just gonna make the vlog of me talking about my experience in Kentucky as a whole this is one year in kentucky right now and i'm loving it so far hating it and loving it so you guys can get a a full review of kentucky throughout the vlog so through each scene i'm just gonna talk about it as i do things so, hey let's get today started let's go all right guys while i'm getting myself ready to go out with my girl I'm going out to the mexican restaurant to eat and i want to talk to you guys about jobs here because jobs here are so easy to come by guys it's just so easy to come by i was never I went out of job for more than like two weeks, literally. Uh, if you're one of those type of people who own a job hunt, on a job search, once you get fired or quit a job, you can literally have a job next day, you know, because we have, I'm not going to say we have so many clinics, but we have enough clinics and hospitals here to keep you employed. Always job openings for hospital, even if you're in the medical field, uh, mechanic field, welding field, any field, dude, like, around Lexington, Kentucky, the surrounding area. Of Lexington, Kentucky is just full of jobs, dude. Honestly, uh, if you're into like factory work, we got Nissan, not Nissan plant, thinking about Mississippi. We got Toyota, Amazon, uh, some other warehouses, and we have a big ass area. I think it's like far north Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, it's like a bunch of manufacturers, warehouses, office depot warehouses, all kinds of things like that. If you guys want to work out of those. Uh, There's a lot of job opportunities here. This is a pretty growing city. Like, Lexington, Kentucky is not small at all. It is a big city, and it's built like a town, but it's a city at the same time. I think it's around 300,000 people here in this city, and this city is literally bigger than Jackson, Mississippi, landmass-wise, horse farms, concerts, all kinds of things happen here, dude. Uh, it's just jobs everywhere, man. Construction site, pipe welded out there in the other parts of Kentucky in the mountains somewhere, you know. Uh, it's just a lot of jobs. I honestly heard people tell me this. Uh, you can get fired today and find a job the next day. It's literally true. A guy on my YouTube channel, guys, I'm going to put his uh, comment right here if it's still up, if I still can find it. This guy asked me, is it easy to find a job in Lexington, Kentucky? Because he's moving from St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Paul, Minnesota might not be big as Lexington, Kentucky, land, my, land, land, land mask wise, but St. Paul, Minnesota got a bigger downtown, better atmosphere, more to do, and it's just live. Like St. Paul, Minnesota is literally better than Lexington, Kentucky, honestly. But land, ma land mask wise, Lexington, Kentucky is bigger. He's moving from a city life to a small town city life. It's kind of weird. It built like a town, but it's definitely enough to be considered a city, landmass wise. And hey, guys, it's a good city, man. I'm enjoying my stay so far. I'm enjoying my stay so far. It's great. Honestly, I never been unemployed for more than a week or two. Uh, work here is easy. It's always work anywhere you go in Lexington, Kentucky. We got Georgetown, Lexington, uh, Versailles. Uh, it's a place west of Kentucky. I don't know what you call it. Cincinnati, an hour away. Louisville is an hour away. Nashville, Tennessee, two hours away. Down south, we got Richmond. Nicholasville. It's a growing area, dude. Lexington, Kentucky is a growing city. I would say it's the better city in Kentucky. Louisville has fallen off. Full of gang violence, drug addicts, bad bad people in Louisville, Kentucky. I wouldn't recommend it to you, you know? But hey, job-wise here is good. Come here if you want to work. You'll find a good job easily. If you got the resume, work experience, the drive, you'll get it.
Oh, they can see it just show up. I had to make it wide enough. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now we just made it up here at this taco restaurant. Uh, it's like a cocktail too, a bar around here. Pretty sure you guys heard me talk about the bar and stuff like that. And it's music playing in the background. Hope it's not too loud. But hey, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the weather in Kentucky, dude. Because the weather in Kentucky is pretty nice, man. It has that northwestern weather, honestly. Like, if you guys ever been to Oregon or Washington or something like that, it stays like in the 70s and 80s throughout spring and you know fall and stuff like that. So right now it's like September. And the weather is pretty nice right now. It's like gloomy outside. You got to see in the background. Uh, the weather's not so nice today. Uh, but all throughout next week, it's going to be sunny. Low 80s, high 70s. Great weather right there. Um, it snows here. Uh, we have all four seasons. Snows, hot, tail, heat waves bouncing off the ground, passing out, all kinds of things stuff. Uh, that's just nice to taste of dip in the Mexican restaurant. It's pretty dope. Pretty nice. Stuff like that. I'll show you guys how to do it. I just grab it with my hand. I am from Mississippi, so your boy put it on there like that. Get this hot sauce. You gotta have the hot sauce. The one thing you gotta have. Ooh, this shit look extra hot. Look at that. Got the peppers in there, boy. I'm kind of scared of that. I ain't got nothing to drink. Probably gotta get something to drink real quick, you know? Let's see what this is. It's kind of orange. Look kind of orange. Don't know. But hey, the weather in Kentucky is pretty good. If you guys are looking for all four seasons, I would definitely recommend that if you come in here. It's not a bad city, not a bad state. Pretty live, pretty vibable. Uh, right now I'm in a little area that's like in like Nicholasville Road. It's pretty busy here sometimes. Even on Sundays, it can get kind of hectic. Depends on what they're having around here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a dip in this real quick. Look at this. Give it a dip. I like to eat. If you guys like food everywhere around, wide varieties of food. They got Mexican, Indian, Arab, Mediterranean, all kinds of things. But the weather here is great, man. So I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna eat this food and talk to you guys about some other stuff later. All right, fellas, all right, fellas. Your boy about to try all of these sauces. Only sauce that I tried so far was this. I don't even know what this is. It looks like some type of orange sauce. I got the green sauce right here. And hey, let's hope I don't throw up real quick. You feel me? Uh, let's see, let's see. Most of their stuff is homemade. I'm gonna grab the one that I put together. Dang. All right, let's try out the first one right here. Dip that in there. This one is extra hot. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. I already know what this sauce is. Hot sauce right here. Tastes pretty good. I'll show you guys real quick. Restaurant over there. Next inside cocktail too. Pretty good restaurant. It's pretty small on inside. But overall, 10 out of 10. All right, fellas, your boy over here at CarMax. What you ducking off for? You, you, you look good today. How good she look, guys. She look amazing. But, oh shit, the motherfucking door is unlocked. They never leave that doors unlocked. But, hey, I can never drive a Chevrolet product, GMC product. I used to be GMC, but I'm not no more. My family GMC family and somehow I just converted to Ford. So I realized that trucks are a lot better than GMC product and also Dodge products. The Dodge lady over there, motherfucker. The Ram 1500. <laughs> but I used to love working at CarMax, like for real, dude. I used to love working at CarMax, guys. CarMax was a good place to work at. The pay was easy. It was easy to make a thousand dollars. You just gotta sell four cars with Max Care on it. That's a grand right there. And it was easy as hell to sell cars up here at CarMax. They CarMax longer than ours. Hit this left right here and go about the sports cars. But one thing I want to talk to you guys today about is the atmosphere in Lexington, Kentucky. So we're gonna talk about this right now and break it down, make it simple for you guys. 
So if you're thinking about moving to Lexington, Kentucky, the atmosphere here is pretty decent. It's a college town, so it's not going to give you the city life like Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Chicago, Illinois, what, Houston, Texas. Even they got colleges there in Houston, Texas. University of Houston is huge. Uh, it's just a big, it's a, it's a decent sized city, honestly, but it's built like a college town. Everybody is about UK, party life, house party, frat parties, everything like that. So it got the cottage life atmosphere here. If you're not a UK fan in Lexington and you're a Louisville fan, a lot of people in Louisville don't like UK because it's like a rival in the state. So, hey, nobody like Louisville in Lexington, Kentucky, and nobody like UK in Louisville, you feel me? It's a rival within the city, just like Mississippi State and Ole Miss. One thing about that is, hold on, Mississippi State and Ole Miss like 30, min 30 minutes away from each other. So it's just like here, basically. See a lot of if or nots. But the environment here is cool, good environment. They keep up with their roads here. You're not going to run into any roads that beat up, destroy it, potholes everywhere and stuff like that. This is not the ghetto. They don't have many ghettos here. If they do got a ghetto, it's just people low income who can't afford nothing. They are not slanging dope. Nobody shooting on the streets. Nobody gang banging. Nobody doing that. You might got it here and there, but it's a bunch of wannabes, you know? They are not about their life. Where I'm from, if you're from Jackson, Mississippi, Atlanta, Chicago, Illinois, the bus just left. If you're from a city that has a lot of gang violence, this will be sweet. It's gonna be sweet here, bro. Dude, I haven't heard a gunshot almost ever since I moved here. I heard gunshots the first couple months I moved here when I was in this bad area. Police came out and stuff like that. That's about it. It's a good area. The environment is good. And the next thing you guys are going to see of me, I'm going to talk about my experience in Lexington, Kentucky. So I've been enjoying my experience. Love and hate relationship. And that's a GT350 right there, guys. Bam. Shelby. G3350. 392 Daytona. New C8 Corvette. The old school Corvette back there. You got a C8. You got the C7 and the C6. So... This one, what the, who the, what the, what the fuck is happening? Why they got them bitches tied up to the, to the why they got them tied up to the wheel? Uh uh, they put them in the windshield. The so, one thing I learned about C8 Corvettes, guys, when working at CarMax, Corvettes in general, the newer Corvettes, if you got the key somewhere near the car, it can drain the battery inside of the vehicle. Uh, so, we had to always keep the Corvette keys inside or away from the car. So, it's just like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or anything like that. The key drained the battery because the key is close to the car to keep access to it. But hey, let me hit you guys with the next scene. So let's get the hell up out of here. Let's go. All right, guys, we're coming to the last segment of this video, dude. I'm just going to talk about my personal experience in Lexington, Kentucky, because I had an up and down roller coaster in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I'm just going to hit on every single point. Today is the next day of the video, guys. Um, well, it's the next day in this video. I'll start talking about it. Didn't mean to drag the video out too long, but let me put this to a wraps right now. I'm heading to work. Work at T-Mobile and I kind of enjoying it, sort of, kind of, you know. But Lexington, Kentucky is a pretty decent city, honestly. In my final verdict, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, this city is pretty big, landmass-wise. Don't get it twisted. This is not a big city, guys. This is a college city. This is the AKA college big town. It feels like a town and it built like a town, you know? This city might have 300,000 people in it and it feels like it had 300,000 people in it. But this city wasn't... Lexington, Kentucky wasn't built to be a city. And some of the roads are so odd. They got a place called New Circle Road, a road that's called New Circle Road that goes around the whole Lexington, Kentucky area. And it's just weird, dude, how this inner city highway do not, it do not make sense. This city was literally built for a town. It wasn't built to be this big. And the only reason why Lexington, Kentucky is expanding and getting bigger is because the UK and more people are migrating to this city. Honestly, um, a lot of people don't know about the women in here. I want to talk about the women in Lexington, Kentucky right now, dude. Because a lot of women are, are here are promiscuous. These women are hoes. Excuse my it's language. You will have a hard time finding a good woman who is actually attractive. If a woman who is attractive, she will literally exercise her options. Like, I promise you this. This woman will act like an angel at work, by, uh, out in public and everything like that. Act sweet and innocent. But damn near, but damn well, she go to a, 
bars every week to get smashed by a different dude, you know? You guys don't know how many women I ran into who are like that. Promiscuous women who look good, but they're out here just smashing everything in sight and trying to defend themselves and justify their wholeness and trying to make you feel like you have to accept that. Man, you do not have to accept a woman with a high body count. You do not have to accept that shit. Don't let them shame you and try to make you feel bad just because you have a personal preference. Just like a woman want a man will, uh, who respects her, you want a, you want a woman who, who respects herself. Simple. Uh, women here, it's like a 50-50, you know? 50-50 chance that you'll find a good woman. Um, it's a lot of hoes out here and a lot of good women out here. Honestly, seen a lot of good women and I met a lot of and seen a lot of bad women. And... It's a party city. It's a college town. Got people jogging right here and stuff like that. Couldn't show her. She's jogging with her dog. I'm on the white side of town. So, it's a good atmosphere out here, dude. I've been enjoying my time here. Honestly, I've been enjoying my time here. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. So, my city was pretty terrible, pretty bad. Jackson, Mississippi is, like, really ghetto. It's a big city, but it's, like, nothing to do. Nobody want to do anything like that. And this person got 97 on their license plate. And I need to get something like that. But, dude, <clears throat> ain't nothing to do here, bro. Ain't nothing to do here. You got a couple of people walking here and there. Um, that's about it. I'm heading to the slightly downtown area, stuff like that. And you know, I didn't have. A, I, I never had a good time with meeting women in this city. A lot of these women are for everybody. These women are for everybody. These women are for the streets. I met one good girl right now who I'm messing with right now. She's like AKA we dating right now. We're official. So she's the only good girl who I met in this city out of the fucking. 20s of women I talked to and neither one of them went anywhere even though the dates went well and let's talk about what else I want to talk about party life the bars downtown is always popping there are always some activity going on downtown Lexington uh there's always some type of activity going on around the city you just gotta find it you just gotta know people uh this is one of those cities where you gotta know people to actually have fun um if you go into a bar by yourself, you ain't gonna have fun, dude. You gonna have fun if you're an outgoing person. If you know how to meet new people, you will have fun at the bars. The bars always popping. Uh, nightclubs always popping. Strip clubs always popping. College life, and literally the college life. Tailgates, UK basketball, UK football, uh, UK volleyball, UK soccer. Everything is always popping, guys. This is a college city, so there's always gonna be something to do. You either go to a volleyball game, you go to a football tailgate you can go to a basketball game go to a bar on a thursday night lights friday saturday the bars are always popping from thursday all the way to saturday they're popping you can meet some hoes there who are looking to get clapped out and they act innocent and, and freaking modern modest you know in the public but my hair look kind of wild right now guys you guys can tell i still gotta fix my hair up when i get to work uh, i had to work it's 9 36 right now so i'm heading to work right now and I got beat her at 10. We don't open up to 11, so I got enough time to fix my hair. I took my two strand twist down because I like how my hair looks when it's like this. What you guys think about it, dude? What you guys think about it? I know I got to fix it up. I know I got to straighten it up and stuff like that. But my friend of verdict is a 7 out of 10 for Lexington, Kentucky. It's a good city. I don't want to live here. Uh, I'm planning on moving to Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado is my next de destination. And that next destination is going to be my... Not my probably my last destination. That's probably the place I want to live at forever. It's so probably probably the place I want to call my home. Even though I'm from the dude from the dirty south, I still want to call it my home. Like literally, honestly. But <clears throat> I do. Pulling up on downtown right there. Um, my bus is right before downtown. And I man, I'm not gonna ramble along too much. If you guys want me to actually go in depth about it, this is just me summing it up and giving you guys a vlog slash. You know what I think about Lexington, Kentucky. Seven out of ten. Good city to live. Good city to visit. Uh, it's not a place where you could tour. It's not a place where you can take a vacation. I wouldn't even see that this is a vacation spot. But if you're looking to go to college or live here and start a family, go for it. The crime rate is low. It's crime here. Every city got its bad and good. Every city got crime. Simple. You're gonna hear gunshots some nights. Some nights you're not. It's the way of life. But. I don't recommend you live here. I won't live here. Uh, it's not for me. I hate college cities. Um, it's not me. It's not how I feel. It's not my vibe. I'm not. I'm come from the south, but I just don't like the southern atmosphere. You know, I like people who I can relate to, type stuff like that. So I feel like in Denver, Colorado, those are some type of people I can relate to. 
Anyway, dude, hope you guys did find yourself enjoying today's video. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel. Want to see more videos from me, of course. Share the video around the world, find you're entertaining, and I love you guys. I'm out. Hey, leave a leave your leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What you guys think about the city, dude? Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know what, what you felt like I left off on because I felt like I missed a lot of things. I missed a lot of points, but I'm pretty sure I hit the main subject, hit the main topics that a lot of people want to know about the city. But let me know what you guys think about what I said and how the video is, you know? Because hey, man, I love you guys. I'm out. Peace.